Tara Welch Gallagher, Marie Louise Gale, Alexander Mikhail Gusa, Catherine A. Nixon, Joshua O. Hardy, Herbert Bert Snelling, Lakita C. Brown, Robert Bobby Williams, Richard H. Nettleton, Christopher Kelly Rapp. Could there be a more peaceful sounding name for a place than Virginia Beach? I made plans to drop out today. I was going to have wine and cheese, maybe go down to the Valero convenience store and invite a couple of illegal immigrant girls over to join me, kick back and, and learn Spanish. Even put today's article up and distributed it early last night so I didn't have to do it today, do a thing, except chill the wine and uh, lay out the cheese. So what happened? Dwayne Craddock happened. Like most of you, I've become so jaded that when I first heard the news of our latest mass murder, I scanned the body count. If it's only two or three, then it's just a family affair, usually a clear motive, most likely a woman. As you approach 10 or so, then it's a pissed off employee. More than 10, it's a bona fide nut. And 20 or more is for religious reasons. And in order for this to publish, I'm not allowed to use the M word. America has become the not-so-okay corral. I think that one of the worst things to have put up with after the aftermath of one of these things is when all the man buns come out with their significant others screaming gun control. The very phrase gun control is an oxymoron. I hear all about the wild, wild west all the time, but let me tell you something. <clears throat> In most wild, wild cattle towns, there were rules and regulations about where and when you could keep and bear arms. They didn't give two shits about what some bunch of Yankees wrote on a piece of paper 70 some odd years ago up in Pennsylvania. You could either leave your gun with the sheriff while in town or deposit it in the cloakroom of the saloon. And even then it didn't account for a little sister in your boot. And don't go Googling that. I'm old enough to have met real cowboys in the 19th century and they recounted stories for me from firsthand experience. You have to accept facts. You will never rid America of all the guns that grace the landscape. Just like Prohibition, wonderful idea, no more whiskey, no more beer, and everyone would be stone sober walking around singing, I surrender all. In the end, there were more speakeasies in Manhattan than there ever were bars back when it was legal to pull a cork, and don't Google that either. If tomorrow guns were completely banned, while the liberals were having a collective orgasm, I could get in my car, drive the four miles to Simmonsville where I grew up, and buy anything I wanted from a woman to a BAR. And if you doubt that, have I got a bridge for you, and it's on sale. So what do we do? Well, first of all, stop trying to understand people who shoot multiple victims because they had a bad hair day. If you understand them, then someone needs to understand you. People who do that just need to be shot. The issue is how to arrange it. Well, dialing 911 ain't it. When seconds count, the police are only minutes away. When you're cowering under a table while some pervert is popping little girls' heads off, you won't be worried about that comma in the Second Amendment anymore. You're going to be worried about your ass. An armed society is a polite society. When any 18-year-old girl can reach into her purse and dispatch a maniac, it will cause him to pause and consider. Trust me on that one. And if C.J. Grisham or Doc Green just happens to be having lunch there that day, there will only be two deaths. The patron hit by the first shot and the killer hit by the next 14. If these deranged individuals feel death tugging at their elbow, they will find another method to ease their anxiety. I suggest a bridge with a nice drop to the river below. Oh, I'm sorry, you're offended. You're going to report me for hate speech. You're going to retreat to your safe zone, and you're going to shake and piss all over yourself. Well, let me ask you something. And remember, I've seen Luby's, and I've seen Fort Hood, and I've seen Waco twice, and I've seen Charles Whitman. Would you rather be reading a story today about some nut who offed himself last night because he couldn't get laid or would you like to hear me read those names again of the victims in Virginia Beach whose only crime was they simply showed up for work and the police are now looking for a motive?